Hey everybody, what's up? So today we'll be taking a full walk around tour of the Tesla Cybertruck and I'll also be showing you everything that comes with it. So give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into it. <laughs> so here's the Tesla Cybertruck. This is the foundation series and this is the dual motor all wheel drive. There we go. So on the side here, you do have the foundation series badging. You have a camera here. And these wheels are 35 inch tires and um, 20 inch rims. So pretty massive and they're off-road tires. I think the regular non-foundation non series is going to come with those all-terrain tires. But for the foundation series, they're giving you the off-road stuff. Pretty beefy. Let's take a look at it. Um, let's go here on the back. Here's another camera here as well. And that's also going to be your rear view mirror. So I'll show you what that looks like inside. In the back you can see we have the tonneau cover closed and these are the controls but let me show you the other cameras and we'll get into that so here's the next side man it's much longer in person <laughs> like video doesn't do it any justice but when you look at it in person it's super long <laughs> it's like a giant fridge on wheels so on the sides here on both sides you have cameras as well um, here's the next camera here and up here you have a bunch of other cameras so that's pretty much all the cameras on the exterior there's one inside nope that's not all <laughs> my bad that's new on every Tesla this is new on all Teslas so this is the first one to get it front facing camera and that is so handy. Whoever thought of that, big thumbs up to you guys. That is super handy. So like whenever you're in a parking lot or something like that, you don't have to be like, you know, reaching up, trying to peek over the dash to see, you know, if you're gonna hit something or what. That just pops up on the screen and you can see exactly where the wheel is turning. Pretty cool. Look at the massive windshield wiper right here. gigantic <laughs> so that's in the lowest um, lowest suspension setting right now I think that's in entry and that's how low it looks so you have entry you have low you have medium you have high then you have extra high and I think you have some other ones there but if you go like into the off-road setting you can this thing actually goes higher so there's a thing called extract mode and it it sucks in the wheels basically the front and the rear and it just lifts all the way up it's crazy i'll do a video on that so you guys can see so coming around the front we have this beautiful light bar right here you know that's the signature look of the cyber truck if you're looking in your rear view mirror you can definitely tell there's a cyber truck coming a lot of people says it looks like iron man but I think it has some inspiration from Mandalorian. <laughs> Just looks crazy. Like the name, I named this Beskar. <laughs> so if you guys watch Mandalorian, um, you can see they talk about all the steel and stuff that for the armor and stuff called pure Beskar. So I decided to name this Beskar. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's not your headlights, actually. That's just your regular daytime running lights. Your headlights are down here, and this is the only place that it says Tesla. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but that's it. There we go. Oh, and at the bottom here, you have tow hooks, or recovery hooks, whatever you guys call them. So, there they go. It's a full truck. It, it drives like a car, I can tell you that. It drives way better than my Tesla Model Y. But it's also a full truck, capable to do everything. 
and let me show you what I mean by that if we press this button right here that brings it up and as you can see it's pretty fast and if we press it press this one well it's not closing now okay there we go closes pretty fast and it's not loud and this right here you can stand on it up to 300 pounds it's able to support pretty solid so let's open it back up and the tailgate right here we'll use this button to pop it down actually for the tonneau cover if you just press it you know bits at a time you can get it exactly where you want it and kind of stop it you know so like that so let's open this press this button pops the tailgate right down like that nice and soft um, it's easy to lift so like that you lift it up and let it go and it soft closes pretty nice so let's open it back up look at that you get a full six by four bed so you don't have those wheel wells like you know the traditional trucks so you actually can take full use of that space um, you also have light bars here some light strips they're off right now and I think that's because the truck is off so let me open it up and show you guys what that looked like all right so now that the truck is on I open the door you can see the light strips right here and you can actually adjust the brightness so you can make it brighter or even more dim there we go it's on both sides let me adjust this camera see if I can get it to be brighter there we go and on the sides here we have outlets so you have two regular household outlets you have like a dryer outlet here so you can actually charge another electric car off of this so that's pretty cool you have you know tie down points all throughout you have a bottle opener here i think this just comes with the foundation series you can buy it on the tesla shop though go you got more there here and you got some more you know tie down points on the sides you guys can see them and you got that glass right there so the back window but when the tonneau cover closes you know you can't see through that and that's where the camera on the tailgate comes in which becomes your rear view mirror so you have more space under here as well go so you can turn this into a to an actual cooler because there's a drain plug in in here and you could fill it with ice and all of that stuff there you go so because this is a foundation series it also comes with the mobile connector here and it's different than the regular ones so the regular ones has Tesla written all over it but this one is actually in black but it's pretty much the same thing you get the, that outlet and you get this one for the regular outlet um, there's the space so here you can see this right here the drain thing and it's like a cyber truck <laughs> so you just put it back right into there and you can drain your stuff but overall, you know, a lot of space, a lot of space. So while we're still back here, these um, dividers right here is also part of the foundation series package. So that won't come on the standard um, Cybertruck whenever they start making those. Um, here you have your emergency release. So I, mean, I guess if you're stuck back here in the bed for some reason, you would pop this out pull that and that's how you would get out of the cyber truck um, it's not illuminated or anything so the bed is gonna get pretty dark so 
I'm not sure how you would locate this. So um, my idea for Tesla is to like make this like glow in the dark. So, you know, we could swap this out and get a glow in the dark one and put it in there. So if it's dark in there, at least you could locate it. <laughs> All right, so let's close this up. There we go. Now here we got some more reflectors. And your backup lights are here. Here is the next reflector. And this is your light. So this thing is an, a light bar basically, which I'll show you what that looked like. All right, so now I'm in the Cybertruck. You should be seeing that light bar there. Um, this is the turn signal. So there we go, left. Now you should see the right turn signal. Um, this is the flashers. And now if I tap the brake, it should look like this. There we go. So that's the whole light bar. <laughs> the Cybertruck also has rear wheel steering. So wherever you turn the wheel, the back wheels should turn in the opposite direction. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. So here's what happens when I turn the wheel. You can see the rear wheel right there. It's also turning. Look at that. That's nice. So if you're curious if the Cybertruck can tow, yes you can. Your tow hitch and stuff is back here. So you'll just pop this off and you can attach your hitch and all of that stuff. There we go. You can tow up to 11,000 pounds with it. So as you might have noticed, there's no aero covers on these wheels. That's because they have a recall going on. I think what was happening, it was eating into the tires. So they're fixing that and they should send it out to us once they got a fix. These are the mirrors. You can actually pop them off. I think it's held on by two screws, but I like the look of the mirror. There we go. Very angular look. So let's check out the front of the Cybertruck. And it's actually the first Tesla with a powered front. How cool is that? Nice. So it's not a whole lot of space, but you know, it's pretty handy to have. You can also use it as a seat. So, you know, you could sit up there, catch some cool breeze. <laughs> so you can use this button to close it here. It, it lights up at night. Um, or you could go ahead and just use this button again to close it up. But that's pretty handy. There we go, close it up. And it's pretty fast. So if you're wondering, how do you charge this thing? Well, let me show you the charge port. It's right here. Tap that, opens right up. As you can see, you got a Cybertruck logo right there. In the prototype, they had the charge port right here, but they didn't want to cut into the stainless steel, so they put it right there, and I like it like that. Gives it a much cleaner look. So on the Cybertruck, you also have this massive glass roof, and so nice. You also have these parts right here, so there's four, and I think they're gonna make a bunch of accessories for them. So you got that, you got up front, here goes the ones for the other sides. And you can also get a light bar to put on that. So I think that's gonna come on the Cyber Beast actually, where you get the light bar. But I'm pretty sure Tesla will let you buy it. So you can put it on that. Now moving down to the bed, you have those um, attachment points here again. So like I said, probably a lot of accessories and you know, even stuff for the aftermarket. Here we go, you got there, got two more here towards the rear. So in total, four in the bed and four on top of the roof. Now when the bed is open, you have these reflector lights right here on both sides. And on the back right here, you get more Foundation Series badging since this is the Foundation Series Cybertruck. So where are the door handles? There's no handles. <laughs> Look at this. To open it, all you do is press this button door pops out you just put your hand right here pull the door open now it opens to a full 90 degrees so you should be able to load a lot of stuff straight through 
pretty handy. For the front, you'll tap this button right here too. Door pops open, put your hand here, pull the door open, just like that. Now these doors are super heavy, <laughs> but you'll get used to it. Show you how it closes. Do that, it just closes. Pretty solid. There you go. Nice. So that's how you get in and in the Cybertruck. So I think there's a total of 15 speakers in the Cybertruck and two subs. So the sound system is pretty good. Um, let's look at the doors. This is how you open the door right here. You press that button. This is your window controls. And since this is the Foundation Series Cybertruck, you get this white decor. So the regular Cybertruck is not gonna come with this white interior here. There we go, your storage space. Have a ton. Here we go right here, let me show you the seats. You adjust the lighting on this camera real quick. There we go. So there's a tab right here, a pull tab. So if you pull this, the seat should fold up. There we go. Pull that, there we go. Let's do the next side. So here's the next side, pull this right here. There we go. So it's a full truck. <laughs> Look at that, so much space. Um, you also have the front license plate cover. Um, the foundation series comes with all weather floor mats for the back and also the front. It also comes with this um, sunshade for the roof. So you could put it up there, but it doesn't get hot in here. So I don't think I'm gonna use that. You also have regular um, carpeted floor mats as well. Now to put the seats back down, all you have to do is pull this pull tab again. Drops right down. There we go. Let's go ahead and do the next side. Same thing, just go ahead and pull this tab. Drops right down. You also have storage here. So, you know, you could load stuff under here. They also have a tray that you can put under the seats. So you can store stuff in there. Here we go. There's a, you can pull this right here. And hold up. <laughs> Gotta use both hands actually. So let me see how I'm gonna do this. Let's do this. Let's try to get this camera right here real quick. So I'm gonna pull on this and pull this down. And you got cup holders right here. And an armrest. Push it back up, it goes up. You can put car seats on all the seats as well. And you have the top pieces here where you'll um, attach it to. So they're behind all the seats, the headrest actually. Under both front seats, you have a light right there. So it's not so dark. Nice, so in the back here on both seats, you have these storage pockets. There we go. You also have a, I think nine and a half inch rear screen. So pretty handy. Keep all your kids entertained back here. Um, got entertainment such as Netflix, YouTube, music. You can control the seats so you can move the front seat there. You also have heated seats in the back. So both um, end seats are heated, but not the middle. Uh, what's this? So your AC, you could direct the air wherever you want. You could put it towards your face or your feet. Pretty cool, nice, very nice. I didn't take all the plastic off the stuff yet. <laughs> yep. So these lights are super cool. You can just swipe your finger across it and it turns on. You don't have to like push a button or anything. Still got your coat hooks on both sides. Um, you got speakers here, you can see on both sides. Uh, I think this is another one here. But speakers everywhere, as you can see in the front right there. Just ton of speakers everywhere. <laughs> so under the rear screen, you do get some um, outlets and USB ports for one and two. Sorry if the angle is bad, but I gotta try to get in here with the camera on this gimbal. I have an outlet here, so you just pull this out, get an outlet, 
and you also have a light. It's pretty roomy back here. I think everything is well thought out. I drop my mic piece right here. Let's go ahead and work our way up front. Let's take a look at this front door. You have a reflector here on the sides. Um, a ton of storage space here. I just put my garage door opener right here. This is your emergency exit. So you'll pull that and this is how you open the door. So use this, not that. This is only in emergency cases. Got your window controls. Nice. On the sides here, you have that um, cyber truck etching, which is nice, like it. Um, on the front seats right here, you have your seat controls. As you can see, the seats are like raised, so you can, you know, load stuff under the seats. So a lot of storage space inside the Tesla Cybertruck. Here's the pedals. Stop and go. <laughs> see, I can adjust this lighting right here for you guys. And these are the all-weather floor mats included in the Foundation Series package. Here's that steering wheel. It is nice. It is my favorite part of the truck, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you also have this um, piece right here, you know. Nothing is blocking it, so you can store a lot of stuff there. Curious to see what the aftermarket is gonna come with, but that's a whole lot of usable space. Could put a handbag there, or, you know, anything. Now let's take a look at the passenger side front door. Remains the same as the driver side, you know, a lot of storage space. Um, your emergency exit, don't use that, only if it's an emergency. Press this button, that's how you open the door. And you got your window control right here. White decor, nice and soft. Here's the seat, so you got the controls here for the passenger seat. This seat is also raised. Load a ton of stuff under the seats. There we go. Now these seats are heated and cooled. So that's nice. Tesla finally has, you know, cool seats. Well, they've been had it on the Model S and X, I think, but I have a Model Y, so I don't have the cool seats. Here's your glove box. I'll show you how that opens right now. So to open the glove box, we tap the truck icon here and you'll see glove box right here. Tap that and it opens right up. You also get this um, thing here so you can use third party chargers. So that comes with the, with the cyber truck as well. You get a manual in here. Um, yeah, nice, decent amount of space. Um, under here, you have the USB stick right here. So that's for your sentry mode. Tap it again to close it up. There we go. So up front, you're gonna have two cup holders right here. And these are not hard, they're soft. So it's gonna fit to whatever size bottle you put in there. Um, you got two wireless chargers right here, which is pretty nice. Here goes the armrest. It's like, there's nothing to press. You just pull it up. So that's nice, I like it ton of storage here you got this little storage tray which I think is also a part of the foundation series package here we go a ton of space down here let me see if I can adjust the camera here for better lighting I think that's as best as it's gonna get but you do have a plug right here so if I can get this clip out oh, come on oh, yeah I gotta get this clip out <laughs> And yeah, you can plug stuff in there as an outlet. And you also have a USB-C port down here. Sorry, I'm not sure how it's gonna show on camera. It's probably pretty dark, but at least you guys know where it is. I'll put that back later. Close it up. Now up front, you have this gigantic screen, 19 and a half inches. This is the biggest screen on any Tesla. I got all the doors open right now. The animation is so smooth. It's like a video game. You know, like how you play Need for Speed and you're, you know, setting up your car and all of that. That's the vibe you get when you step inside the Cybertruck. Look at that. And all the attention to detail. You can control all the stuff here too, like close the tonneau cover, open the tailgate, open the frunk. 
you know raise the suspension all of that stuff very nice if you guys want to see a video of you know the entire um, infotainment system comment below and let me know and I'll do a video where I just show you the screen and go through all the menus so yeah let me know so if you guys can see that light strip right there that blue this entire car has light strips all around it so it goes all in the doors you know all the way around the dash and it even goes to the rear doors you can also change the colors as well which is pretty cool so inside you also have a camera right here you have this tiny rear view mirror trust me it's like the size of my iphone 15 pro max it's super tiny up here you have light bars as well so it's pretty cool you can just like swipe like that or just touch but it's like no physical buttons it's just nice and satisfying looks pretty cool um what else yep you have your visors here you can fold it down there we go you got glass with light it's pretty tiny but hey it works let's close this up and they're also magnetically connected to here so pop it off right that like that snaps back in i like it i love the design there we go yeah same thing for here mm -hmm. so if you look there's no longer any stocks or anything right here for you to you know change gears or anything everything is on this steering wheel so you have your turn signals here which i love you know you get used to it pretty fast you got your light um you got your windshield wiper right there let me show you <laughs> that's massive um you got this um you know like you could talk to the car basically yeah and you got a physical horn button so we can press that and there's a horn um what else okay so everything all the gears you'd have to control on the screen so let me show you to go to drive you'd go up that's going into drive to go reverse swipe it down you got reverse go into park you tap this it goes into park let me go ahead select my profile again um, but in case the screen is gone for some reason don't freak out there's actually buttons right here which you can use as a backup to go part neutral um, drive and reverse so let me show you what that looks like so for that to pop up all i'm gonna do is press and hold these two buttons on the steering wheel right here so let me put this camera down and try to point it up and you'll see what happens when i do that there we go so you have all that just popped up right there and you can select whatever gear you want pretty cool something else that's new for tesla is going to be the steer by wire so this steering wheel is not physically connected to the wheels at all it is, it is all controlled electronically so very smart engineering i think that's what the uh, airplanes have is steer by wire system so this wheel look that's all you have to do to turn it and that's a full lock you don't have to keep you know making double loops around no that's it turn it like that it's just one turn look at that nice very nice now if you're freaking out or thinking oh man that's dangerous when you're driving no it's not because you know the software is tuned to you know understand exactly what's going on so it, it's literally minor adjustments. You're driving, you don't have to turn the wheel like this to go around a curve. Nah, you just, you know, minor things like this, you know? Variable, you know, depends on the speed you're driving and minor. You don't even have to go that much. I'm just turning it so you can see the wheel actually turning, but it's very minor. I'll do a drive-in video of this. If you guys want to see me do a drive-in video, let me know and I'll try to mount some cameras in here and show you exactly what i'm talking about so drop a comment right now pause the video drop a comment right now if you want to see that and i'll add it to my list of videos just to make sure you guys can see it i'm trying to provide the best um cyber truck content here on youtube and across social media 
so I'm accepting requests so whatever you guys want to see on the Tesla Cybertruck just comment it down below and let me know and I'll try my best to do it all right so if you're enjoying this video so far give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel please thank you so what's also cool about this is you can control the rear screen here so if we go to the rear we can control the rear um, airflow back here you could also go into the menu here and um, where is it rear and you could see exactly there what what they're seeing on their rear screen so you could you know have those same controls here so it's pretty neat I think you can lock the display as well so if your kids are misbehaving you could lock that display so very good <laughs> sorry about that you guys might not see that on camera but let me explain what went on just now I was filming and my phone just stopped recording I ran out of space so I had to go in and delete all kind of stuff but anyways back to what I was saying here so now here's the front got the same controls here for your AC just like any other Tesla you could go up and down side by sides have your bio weapon defense here and all your controls like I said if you want to see a video on the infotainment system or infotainment screen comment below and I'll cover everything okay you got your keep and all of that stuff dog mode yep now let's take a look at the front dash right here this man it is massive I'm telling you I'm stretching and I can't reach down there I'm yeah I'm literally stretching my arm all the way out and I can't touch the end so to clean down there I'm gonna have to maybe find some kind of brush and try to you know clean that windshield but it's huge and there's a like a little lip right here so if you put stuff back he over here it's not gonna come flying forward but I wouldn't recommend that for driving anyways just letting you know and you got two um, side view there right there so it's pretty open and well thought out I mean if those glasses weren't there yeah you would have a massive spot right there where you couldn't see so nobody wants that the pollen is super crazy out here <laughs> look at that windshield and all over the car is super green it wasn't like that when I arrived but man that just goes to show you so anyways um, with this with the foundation series Cybertruck what you're also gonna get with that package is you're gonna have like a home power shear so if the power goes out in your home you can use this giant battery right here to power your entire home so that's pretty cool so it comes in the package and Tesla will supply you with a universal wall connector and um, whatever anything else that's needed so you can power your home and you, they would send somebody out to come and install it I think with the cyber beast the installation is free but with the dual motor I think you're gonna have to come out of pocket to install that but that's pretty sweet you can't beat that you know it's like an apocalypse vehicle your house goes out you solar charge this thing and power your house and look at that Woo! So this Cybertruck is bulletproof. Hard stainless steel. It's also dent free. You can't dent that. <laughs> it's pretty solid, but it's only the doors that are bulletproof, not the panels, the different panels there. The glass, it's not bulletproof, but you can throw stuff at it and it won't break. So it's pretty hard, pretty tough. Man, this thing is like a tank. You know, and, it, and especially as a military guy, that's why I fell in love with this at first. Because I'm like, yeah, remember driving all those home V's and those big military vehicles? Yeah, that is why I wanted this. And you know, it just looks different. Way different. There's no build quality issues with mine. I mean, I haven't went around the car like, you know, nitpicking and just trying to find issues. I'm sure they're probably... You know minor things that could be adjusted but i'm not that type of person <laughs> so i'm good with it i'm excited i'm glad that i got it i waited you know so many years for this and it's finally here so, so thanks to everybody that supported me and 
<laughs> hey, every time I look at this thing, I just get so speechless. But it's a nice truck. If you guys have, if you guys have, have a friend and you can, you know, go check this thing out in person or take a ride in it, definitely do. So I like to keep all my cars clean and not looking dirty. But this thing, I haven't figured out how to clean it yet. <laughs> that stainless steel, you know, very fingerprinty, man. I'm telling you, you get so many fingerprints all over it. And yeah, it kind of looks like, you know, like a fridge, you know, <laughs> you're going in and out. So if you guys know exactly the products, what to use, drop a comment down below and I could try it and maybe do a video just to see, you know, how it is. But yeah, I want to know how to clean this thing because you got all the bugs and stuff. And I'm not trying to mess it up. But again, I don't want to put stuff on it that's going to ruin that stainless steel. So I'd rather wait off and do some more research and just try to wash it with water. <laughs> water only for right now. So yeah, any suggestions? Drop it down below so all of us can know. The reactions I get on this thing super good everybody is just so fascinated people you know a lot of people don't know what it is so i find i have people you know just pulling up and stopping what is this thing and i gotta tell them hey it's a tesla cyber truck you know they say it just looks like something from outer space i have people driving me down you know pulling up at a stoplight man i was chasing you all over i saw this i saw it and i wanted to catch up i thought it was chris brown <laughs> i'm like oh okay <laughs> like, yeah all we see is celebrities in these things and especially being here in north carolina there's none so like there's only one in charlotte that took the first delivery but in raleigh north carolina in this general area here i'm the very first one to take delivery of this tesla cyber truck Wow, so that's a good feeling. Very good feeling to know I'm among the first of the many Cybertruck deliveries here in North Carolina. So if you guys, you know, enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend. Subscribe. Drop a comment down below. Letting me know what you think. Do you have a Cybertruck reservation? Do you like it? What do you think about the styling? all the comments online you know people bashing the cyber truck and all of that in the real world that is not the case it's all love it's just online i see those weird comments but in person everybody wants to take pictures everybody's coming up can i take a picture i'm like yeah sure get it get it you know so it's a very unique vehicle and you got to give Tesla props for making this vehicle. When it was first unveiled, a lot of people said, that won't make it into production. Look at it now. Go look at those drone footage of um, Texas where they're making these things. Hundreds of cyber trucks being um, produced. So, you know, don't knock it. Don't knock it till you try it. I'm telling you, it's the best vehicle I've ever owned. So give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.